I must ask you not to scream. It might provoke them! Cornish pixies? Freshly caught Cornish pixies. <laughs> Laugh if you will, Mr. Finnegan. The pixies can be devilishly tricky little blighters. Let's see what you make of them. No! Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. This time I'm doing a Harry Potter themed drawing. This was a gift for my girlfriend and she's currently angry at me so feel free to let her know in the comments that she should stop being mean to me because <laughs> I'm sure she's going to read them. But anyway, I'm drawing this on a new pad that I got recently from Aichi Craft. They were nice enough to send me out this free pad. So I thought I'd do a small drawing to test it out and then let you guys know what I thought of it the pros and cons and if I'll use it again. But first I just want to quickly introduce the drawing. Obviously you can see by the title that it's Cornish Pixie from Harry Potter and I'm a pretty big fan of Harry Potter. I read the books and watched the movies. I was pretty much at the perfect age when it kind of took off so it felt like I was growing up with those characters. And I've also started listening to the audiobooks again with my girlfriend who's obviously a big fan as well, hence why I'm giving her this drawing. And it's really cool going back and listening to it and just all the memories that come back with it. It's pretty crazy. I'll try not to get carried away here. You get the point. I'm a fan of Harry Potter. And I'm also pretty excited for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. When that comes out, I hope they do a good job with that. And I hope it's not shit. <laughs> anyway, let's talk a little bit about the paper. It's by Maruman. Maruman? Maruman? Something like that. You get the idea. And this part of paper is called Fifart. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, it's hot pressed and it's a very sturdy feeling piece of paper. Like it's pretty thick and it feels like if I paper cut myself on this, I would actually cut my finger off. <laughs> it feels really good quality as well. It's got the slightest amount of texture, but at the same time it still feels smooth, which is good because I'm not the biggest fan of textured paper, especially if you're trying to use Copics on it. So let's get on to the actual drawing itself and how it feels. So I'm going in with my Copics at the moment and the first thing that I noticed straight away was how easily the colours blend on this paper. Now this can be a good thing but also a bad thing depending on what style you want to do because what I found was the colours blended so easily and that almost made it harder to get a textured look or do some finer details. So I will say this paper will really suit certain styles of drawing and honestly this is the first drawing that I've done with it so there's still a lot more that I can learn about the paper. But my immediate takeaway or at least first impression is that this paper works really well in certain situations but maybe not every situation. So it's something that I would choose specifically for the drawing and depending on what style I want to achieve. I thought it would be really fun to do an old parchment kind of effect for the background. So I poured myself a coffee and <laughs> just went to work with it. I'm literally just using a paintbrush to paint on the coffee. No fancy technique or anything. I was really happy with how well the paper handled the coffee. Because of how thick the paper was, it didn't really bend or anything, which a lot of kind of cheaper papers can do. Or thin papers, if you put too much water on it. It just gets all wavy and really annoying to work on. But this paper took it really well. I occasionally dabbed the coffee with a tissue to kind of take away some of the water. And then I just kept doing layers of the coffee to get a nice blotchy effect. Now that I've put in the background, I found that the pixie wasn't really standing out as much as I wanted it to. So I thought I'd go back and thicken up some of the line work and add some dots and make it a little bit scratchy to give it a nice sketchy look. I wanted this drawing to have character, so I went ahead and roughed up all the lines and I think that helped a lot. It just made it pop a bit more and made it look more interesting and not so dull, I guess. So I added some cross hatching in the background a little bit as well. And then I went in with my soft pastels and added a tiny bit of shading just to help make the Cornish Pixies stand out a bit more from the background. I'm going in with my white gel pen to add some final highlights add some dots and to give a little bit more texture and just help it pop. This drawing is pretty much done, just adding the final touches. 
So to quickly summarize my initial thoughts on this paper is that despite having a terrible name, the VFART drawing pad is actually really good quality paper and I do recommend it to people. But just keep in mind what I said before and use this paper in situations where it will work for you and not against you and I think you'll be really happy with it. Another thing to keep in mind, it will suck up a bit more ink than a regular marker paper from your Copics just because it's a thicker paper and like I said before it blends so well and that's partly because it's sucking up a lot of ink. So keep that in mind. It was nothing ridiculous. I was actually expecting it to be a lot worse. But it's just something to keep in mind if your Copics are running low and you don't have any refills. Anyway, we've run out of time in this video. It went pretty quick. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video.